Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we are going over the Science Cost Tweaker mod and a lot of you probably know what this is. It's a very popular mod. I did a playthrough with it a very long time ago and I may have spotlighted it as well a very very long time ago. Uh, so it's obviously changed a bit, uh, but for those of you who don't know what it is or haven't kept up with it, uh, this completely overhauls uh, science. But the interesting thing about it is that it doesn't uh, it doesn't overhaul it in the sense that like it adds additional base items. And what I mean by this is it's not like Bob's mods or five dims or something that adds like all new ores you need to get and like and like new fluids and stuff. Um, all these items that it does that it wants you to create are all from um, vanilla base items like iron, copper, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but it, it complicates science a bit. So if you're looking for, you know, science to be a little more complicated or even just different, uh, then this is definitely something to check out. So first off, it adds a whole new tab here, science stuffings. Um, so we have four different labs and this is one of the things that changes. Uh, one of the main things is uh, these labs are actually uh, you need these higher level labs uh, for higher level packs. So you can see here in the research, this one unlocks before red science, basic science is what they're calling it. Uh, and then this guy unlocks before green science, and then this one before blue science, and then there's one last one that unlocks before yellow science. So then uh, my understanding is you don't need like, you know, you don't need like this to only do like like it's not as if yellow science only goes in here blue science only goes in the blue one so it's not separate you don't need one of each tier uh but what it does mean is that you do need this to do yellow at all uh so like once you get up to yellow science this one will do all of your sciences as you can see here but none of the lower level ones can do anything above uh, you know, whatever the tier is. So the blue one can't do anything above blue, the green can't do anything gr above green, so on and so forth. Uh, which I think is kind of cool, an interesting uh, interesting way to do it. And these, of course, are made from these more advanced items, which are all in here. Uh, you know, so like this thing. Uh, and these are expensive. I mean, these are very expensive. And you can see here, this is 20 circuits, uh, 20 red circuits and a Femto laser array. Uh, not to be mistaken with the laser defense, it does use the same icon. Uh, but this, you know, takes chemical laser flash fuel, femto laser foresight, forky, foresee, um, femto laser emitters, and water. Uh, you know, and all these items can be found here. Now, this is just iron and copper. This is heavy light and steel. And uh, then this guy is iron, copper, and circuit. So again, it's not adding any new base items. These are all created from vanilla items, but it's uh, very different processes. Uh, you know, we have ablative weapons testing kit. Uh, burns out QL bioprocessor, you know, they've renamed all of these and, uh, you know, they all, what's nice about this uh, is that they've kind of lined it up here in the crafting menu. So like this guy takes these two parts and they're just right here, right? So it's super easy to find. And then this one takes this part and this part and those are made from like these parts. And it's, so it's really nice to just be able to just look at this and be like, oh, okay, well this takes this, 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 and this, so on and so forth. Uh, opposed to it just being mixed like throughout all these different menus uh, and you know this does get expensive so like the last one here which would be high-tech science uh, you know requires a capacitor bank uh, and that's you know some cable battery iron this guy is processing units cable plastic and iron plate uh, which it uses that and then this guy is a heated thermal energy store and that takes the thermal energy store and then this one takes 40 copper plate uh, so you can, and then this takes gear wheels as well. So that's kind of what this looks like. And you know, the science, of course, uh, the costs, I don't believe have really changed. Um, it's more of just that the science packs themselves changed. Yeah, these costs are all the same as to what they would be in vanilla in terms of the pack costs and such. Uh, but there you go. So if you're looking for, you know, a change in science, you know, maybe getting bored of vanilla science, or uh, you just want something a little more complicated without it being like Bob's Mods where you have to go through these massive strenuous steps to get like all this different orange stuff, uh, then definitely recommend checking this out. And uh, like I said, it's pretty popular. I've played with it before and uh, I think it's only been approved upon over time. So link below uh, to the mod portal where you can check this out. And uh, it, I think it's compatible with other mods too. You may want to double check on that, uh, but obviously it just works great in vanilla because it just all builds on vanilla items. 
So there you go, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you uh, have any thoughts, leave them down below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.